Hi everyone, Mick here from Merlin Nuggets Adventures. Just going to run through quickly today the installation of the SE Sport 300 on the Mercury 50 horsepower. We've just uh, repowered the tinny. So uh, we'll come down here. I've already opened it up, but this is the packaging. Um, I've already taken it out, but this comes with a template to uh, help gauge. Uh, we'll go through that in a minute. Uh, the installations are on the packaging for you to read through. Uh, just on that little template, there is also a uh, tool for instructions, uh, instru installation uh, on mounting it. And um, yeah, so screws, washers, all included. So let's get to it. So we're just going to uh, show you now, I've uh, marked it out, I've put some little dots, so I did mark it and then I pre-drilled it just enough to line it up to see and make sure that everything was figured out okay. So if you come in here you see the little dot, it's pretty good. One thing I will show you guys that I did do a little trimming on the uh, fin itself. Uh, this is not recommended, <clears throat> however, when you have a look underneath here, you have this trim tab, and uh, the screws were going to come right in on the corner here, so I actually moved it back 10 mil to, uh, just, to just to miss that anode slightly. Uh, as I said again, this is not recommended if you are um, if you're a bit unconfident in what you're doing. Uh, then I would take it back to the uh, boat place that you purchased it from and uh, get them to install it. But if you have a quick look here, I've just trimmed it up. I mean, they're only 180 bucks from BCF, so uh, I got into it with a bit of a chisel just to suit the outboard cavitation plate, and now it just slots on there just nicely, all in the centre. Uh, it was a bit of fiddling around and it took me about half an hour. Uh, so I'll go through now and drill these holes and uh, we'll get it all bolted up and I'll show you the end product. What I will show you is quickly, just uh, if you can sort of see there's a, a mark here. That was the original positioning of the plate and there you can see I've moved back. Just that slight bit. I'll just show you up underneath here quickly. The hole is now actually back here, away where it would have been, right up on the edge of that cavitation plate there. Um, so it depends on your outboard makes models, the whole lot. Uh, but this is the new 50 Merc. It's got about eight hours on it now. Um, it's having a little trimming problems. So uh, we'll put this SE sport 300 on it and uh, give it a go now uh, before i go ahead and drill them out in the quarter inch as a uh, half inch that it said to do i'm just going to uh, double check my holes and make sure they all line up that's pretty good and that one's pretty good so i've checked them out we'll now um give it a go and drill them out the uh, half inch uh, as recommended by the instructions Alright, so just have a little countersink bit here. Um, I just like to take the burrs off the ends. You don't have to go hard at all. Just a quick little push. Take the burrs off. Alright, to get him all sorted, just make sure you put the washers on correctly. Thick washers to the stern of the vessel and uh, small thin washers towards the bow, so the front and back there. Uh, also I run uh, a Lenatec Type A natural lanolin grease. Um, you cannot put an aluminium hole up against a stainless steel bolt um, as it, they will, um, they don't like each other. So what I do is I actually cover the bolt in the lanolin grease um, but there are other types of products you can use out there. Um, 
I think one is called like a Duralac. And Duralac is a protective coating that goes between the two metals, so the different types of metals. So yeah, let's go and get this baby all bolted up. All right, after uh, bolting it all up, it looks pretty good. Oh, I've got the washers in the right spot. You can see a little gap down in there. Uh, it looks nice and straight. Uh, so this little one here, I actually adjusted to suit my steering a little bit. Four blade Spitfire prop on the Mercs. They run pretty well. It's time to get out on the water now and uh, give her a test run. We'll see how she goes for the day. Uh, it'll be late this afternoon, I'll go for a run, but uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you uh, would like to subscribe and uh, like this page to help us out, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.